The tweets have begun. The president has just tweeted, and here we go. Uh, this happened moments ago. Uh, he just said this. Despite so many false statements and lies, total and complete vindication, and wow, Comey is a leaker. And that comes from Comey. Here to weigh in is Texas Congressman and member of the House Freedom Caucus, <laughs> Congressman Louis Gohmert. Your reaction to the president's tweet, Congressman? Well, it was uh, an appropriate tweet, but I liked Ace of Spades' tweet yesterday. He said, Comey, Loretta Lynch told me to lie, and I didn't write that down, but I wrote down Trump's stuff because I was afraid he might lie. I mean, the hypocrisy just knows no bounds. It's incredible. And for it to turn out that the guy that uh, was head of the FBI while the Obama administration prosecuted more leakers than all the other administrations put together, and it turns out he was a leaker in chief. Right. I, it's pretty dramatic stuff that right. the head of the FBI, it really does appear he's been after Trump for a while now. I'd be very curious to see what other stories that we could find that are li uh, linked to the FBI director. Yeah. After all, he admitted he went right to use the surrogate yeah. to go right. Uh, to the New York Times and not tell anybody else that he took memos. Uh, but, uh, Congressman, a couple other things. You believe that Republican leadership is letting the president down. In what respect? Well, it, we were supposed to be in session today, and, uh, it, you know, that helps change the message back to what we're doing. Uh, we passed a great bill yesterday that's going to save community banking and quit the bailout of the big banks too big to fail. Uh, but uh, Tuesday, apparently, our leadership changed the, uh, the week's scheduling and said, let's go dark on Friday. Uh, which means the emphasis will not be on what we're doing good in Washington. We'll, we're basically leaving the president to dangle. I'm very concerned we're not being supportive enough to get the right. message out. Well, and here President Trump is, as Marco Rubio said, you know, as you were pointing out, it, it, you know, the only thing that didn't leak was the truth, right. that he was not under Congressman, investigation. I have 30 seconds left. Uh, James Comey said he was intimidated being in the Oval Office with one-on-one -on -one with the president. Oh How come the yeah. Freedom Caucus wasn't intimidated when the president was basically <laughs> yelling at them to pass health care? How come you guys weren't intimidated when you, when you failed the first time? Well, the fact is, James Comey, that was another example of him not being honest and truthful. Thank God Trump fired him. He needed to go. The more we find out, the more we know. This guy needed to go. He was a problem. Right. He had no problem with Loretta Lynch telling him to lie, misrepresent right. the truth. But, oh, my goodness, let's, let's do what right. we can to hurt Trump. Congressman, I've got to have you back to go. because you Thank have a rich God legal background. Yeah, you have a yeah. rich legal background. I want to cut into that to see yeah. where we go from here. As a judge, Chief Justice, you bet.